Bam! Just like that, I got one. Ah. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that. Wow, this is uh, beautiful. Nice. Luckily, the, uh, the, the clouds burned off. Chung Cho Sol. Alright, so first, I need to see what exactly he's looking for. Otherwise. Is that it? Yes. Okay, it so, ah, oh, little muscles, okay. That's what I'm looking for, muscles, alright. Okay, there's many of them. Okay, where do you put them? Oh. Do you have a net? What? Where do you put like pocket? Oh. Okay, I have a pocket. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Ooh. now I know what I'm looking for. Okay. Bam! Just like that, I got one. Hey! Yeah, you just kind of have to feel around for them, yeah, and uh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Whew. That is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> Digging deep in the sand and pulling out the clams. But yeah, I think they're clams, not not fossils. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah. I think I did pretty good. And I got all these in maybe 10, 15 minutes. Maybe. Like, it didn't take long. And it's a lot of fun. Check that out. <laughs> the final total right here. That's uh, going to be dinner tonight. That's amazing. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Wow. That is awesome. And tonight I want to watch how they prepare them and how they cook them. And since I want to be on the coast from here all the way down to Busan, really, I could do this uh, by myself. You know, if I can learn how to cook them, I have a stove, I have a pot, I just never use it. <laughs> and so, you know, I can learn how to cook them up and then maybe add them to some noodles or some ramen or something just to. Spice it up a little bit. Hell yeah. That dog is walking her. Not the other way around. Water <laughs> mini. So we're actually not doing the clams tonight. Because apparently you have to let them sit for one full day so that they can spit out all the sand. Instead, we're going to have a barbecue, so not complaining there. That looks freaking delicious. Alright, Surf 61 here in Gosong. Uh, my hangout for the past 24 hours. It's been fun. Nice people here. Uh, thought they were going to do the clams tonight, but we can't do it. There's still sand all up in the clams, and so uh, that's unfortunate, but I need to get a move on. Tomorrow is supposed to rain, typhoon, and all that kind of stuff is coming, so I want to go ahead and get into Sokchol and uh, maybe go to a Jijim Jirabang. <laughs> and so, time to get a move on. And so, I thought I was going to stay here one more night, but the weather kind of is making me want to leave. And so. See you later, cat. I don't think it's going to be a problem finding a place to camp or to stay or to eat all along the coast. I've been cycling for not even 10 minutes and everywhere you look there's campsites and restaurants and open beaches and so I have a feeling it's going to be like that the whole way and every beach is kind of similar too. It's real nice. The beaches here, so far, it's just nice. There's no coral, there's no rocks, it's real soft sand. And I went surfing for a little bit today. I took some lessons a long time ago in Bali and the waves here are pretty gentle and kind. And so 
figured it might be a good place to try to hop back on the surfboard. But got up a couple times. It wasn't pretty, but we'll keep trying. Again though, just nice beaches all along the coast. Another campsite. <laughs> like, honestly, how do you choose if you have no idea which beach you want to go to? There's a campsite at every single one. So I don't know. Maybe you just start at one and then you just keep <laughs> you just keep going down the next one each time. But it's pretty out here. Got the mountains over in the distance on the right. Kind of looks like rain over there. But beautiful out here. Man. Welcome to Sokcho. They make you climb a hill just to go into the city. So I've made it to Sokcho, and I have to say, so far, it looks like a beautiful place. Look at the bridge, got the harbor right here. It looks really nice. Check this guy out. <laughs> That's a big one right there. So I think this is a huge version of the uh, the Jimjobang, the, the sauna that I uh, saw about a week ago in Huachong. And so they have a lot of the wood stacked up over there. They got a bunch of the wood cut and uh, some of the chips and whatnot over here. All right, let's, let's do a quick tour of this place. Uh, there ain't nobody in here besides me in this entire place. And so this is the third floor. There's a second floor that's a little bit nicer. It has like nice tile and I could stay down there, but they have a couple TVs on, but there's nobody in the room. But, and that's where uh, the entrance to the sauna is, but I'll do that in the morning because I don't want to get all sweaty. And so I've only seen one other person wearing this, uh, looking like I'm in jail, <laughs> orange clothing here. <laughs> it's like all orange. Uh, yeah, there's only like one other person in here. And so, because I got this whole place to myself, and then, yeah, you got a nice view. I get 12 hours. So, 9.45 to 9.45, I'll be out of here. Morning from Sokcho. Just did a couple rounds in the sauna. So here they have two different ones. Uh, they're inside this big cylinder right here. Way bigger than the one in Huachong. But obviously they have to accommodate 10 times more people if not more. This is what I'm looking at today though. I have a typhoon hitting right now apparently. And so I've only got about an hour left here. I gotta clean up a shower and then figure out what I'm gonna do today. But this kinda sucks because Sokcho looks like a pretty damn beautiful city. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. First thing in Sokcho, we're gonna go over to the Abai village and uh, check that area out. So. Got online this morning, look at the map, and it looks like there's a North Korean community over here. Maybe a lot of North Korean refugees, and, and it looks like this ferry is just something that is tied to this big rope right here, this huge cable. And uh, this guy just manually pulls the boat back and forth. And so, luckily, we don't got to go far.
translate, yeah, maybe there are a lot of North Korean refugees that fled this way. I'm sure that's exactly what that is right there, those pictures. Squid Sunday. Hello. Is this the Squid Sunday? What is this? Uh, yeah. Okay. Squid, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Ah. Mmm. That is very good. Wow. Egg, the squid. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of surprisingly delightful. That is good. Nice texture, nice and not too chewy, but. Mmm. It's hot, and I think it's kimchi. Like, it was kind of. The kimchi is kind of cold, but the squid and the egg are really hot. Mmm. Uh, I want more. Well, is this a restaurant? Can I eat inside? Mmm. Um, 여기가 레스토랑인가요? 안에서 먹을 수 no. 있나요? 안에서 먹을 수 있어요. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, thank you. Mm, 자전거? Mm, okay, so park the bike over here. Ah, over here. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. So I guess they just cook them up on the back side over there. And uh, over here, they have the restaurant. Ooh, some crab soup. And so I think what I just had is called a a squid sundae and I kid you not when I read that online I was like ice cream like squid Ooh. ice cream that don't sound too good menu. okay menu. what is the best best mm -hmm. best this is a this ojin, is. ojin o sundae okay the squid uh, sundae oh okay. okay and then this is like uh, um, cream noodle Ooh. cream noodle this is hot soup hot soup hot soup uh, like it's uh, like hot, hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. Okay. Uh, and the fish. And the fish. Uh, uh, is there any uh, like uh, is this uh, like North Korean food? Korean food. North Korean. Sun, mm. Uh, sundaeku. Mm -hmm. Sundaeku is this soup. Okay. Soup. Uh -huh. uh, uh, rice. Rice. Rice and. Mm. Let's see here. Mm. This is what, this was really good. But seven to there's how many? Uh, seven. 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 Mm. Yeah, picture. Uh -huh. okay. Picture. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, I see. I see. Mm. What about the soup? I'll do the crab soup. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's quite good. Uh, and noodle, noodle. Noodle soup? Noodle. Sounds perfect. Mm. Okay. Okay, you go. One. You go to sale. You go to sale. Yeah, okay. <laughs> thank you. Alright, thank okay. you. Alright, so I'm looking off in the direction of the kitchen. And uh, they're putting my crab together, I think, in the bowl, which it looks amazing. It looks huge, actually. And I'm looking at the shelf over here. See this bottle. Let's go have a closer look. <laughs> uh, yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> and it has a face on it. Wow. Ooh, wee. Look at that. Crazy. On the menu, this is only fifteen thousand, and then this whole set right here is thirty thousand. This is. I need to double check. To make sure this is okay. Uh, all right. There is no way this is fifteen thousand. I am probably spending a lot of money right now, but that's cool. You guys have uh, 
been so amazing with your contributions and donations on all my YouTube videos, and so this is for you guys. Holy cow, look at that. Well, maybe it is, I don't know. At the end of the day, you don't get a whole lot of meat with crab anyway, so. Gloves are going on. So I'm gonna put, I'm guessing I put all the wastes in here. Okay. All right, a little halftime progress report for you. Uh, I've spent about the last 10 minutes just digging out all the, all the crab, all the, all the edible parts, and I still have a long way to go. And so, oh man, that's, I think the idea of eating crab is better than actually eating crab. <laughs> so much work. So, I haven't even really began to dig into it. Like every once in a while, if I get a good piece of the crab out, I'll eat it. But I just keep dumping all the small parts in here. And then, when I'm done, I'll dig in. But I still have more. Like, they kind of dig out half of it for you. And then, kind of go in there. And this part. You're not supposed to eat, so you take all that out. Uh, pretty much everything else, like all the gunkiness, you, know, you can really get in there. And, uh, hot, 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 hot. Yeah, that's another thing, like burning my fingers. But there's all that meat, all of the men. You just gotta work for it. <laughs> that's what I don't like doing. I not like working. I'm gonna keep swinging it everywhere. Like every once in a while, I crack it open and it slaps me in the face. I swear, it's like never ending. There's still more crab at the bottom of the bowl. I haven't even started eating yet. Come on. And I know I'm not doing this. As good as I probably could, or as good as some people could. Like, there's probably a whole lot of meat in here. But it's just so hard to get out. I don't know. It's so small. Like, oh, get out of it. Oh, it's nothing. No, it's like, you crack it open. Oh, do a little, little bitty bite. Again, the idea of eating crab is better than actually eating crab, I think. Uh, 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 oh, there's a good one. There's a good one. Mm. All for that. Mm. It's good. That was pretty good. But the bites are so small. Um, and that happens too often, too. You get to, now I have to dig it out. Okay, now I think I can finally dig in. It's a huge bowl of ramen, and there should be some crab meat in there. All of this. Uh, it's nothing special, to be honest. It's good. I'm freaking hungry, so I'm definitely going to eat it, but I don't know. That, uh, that squid Sunday. I'm going to look for that again. That was unique and that was different and that was good. This just kind of tastes like any old bowl of ramen, to be honest. Oh, really? Ah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the fish over there. The grilled fish. That's what I should have got. That was freaking delicious. Yeah, I always ordered the wrong thing. <laughs> Mm. So that's the sausage. 
the pork blood sausage, I think. A little kimchi on it, maybe. I think that's kimchi. Is that kimchi? Ani. Hmm. Byeongtae. Byeongtae. Ah. Hmm. It's good, good. Yeah, I like the hot and the cold. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. And I like her. She feeds me <laughs> by hand. All right, come on, me that. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. All right, more and more people are coming out. The uh, clouds kind of burned off a little bit. Maybe the typhoon has passed. I guess I should have gone to that restaurant when I had the chance. <laughs> there wasn't a line earlier. Oh well. Mm, let's go eat some more like snack food and uh, small things if we can. I guess that's the thing here. So I think I'm pretty lucky to just even try one of the uh, squid sundaes, you know, because one one order of like seven or eight plus the uh, the sausage and the red stuff is thirty thousand, which is like twenty four, twenty five bucks. And so you know, her just giving me one just to try is uh, actually I think I'm pretty lucky. And that's like. Two dollars just for one, I think. Can you tell me what is inside the squid? Outside skin, inside rice and table mix. Twelve different things mixed together. Okay. Mm -mm. Rice and maybe some carrots or I don't know. Interesting. All right. So it's not just squid. A lot of different things in there. Once again, a nice beach, nice sand. Not a bad place over here on the East Coast. <laughs> That's right, from Busan. Good luck. Thank you. Mm. Have a good time. Thank you. Fighting. <laughs> Alrighty, so I just translated each and every one of these pictures right here. Uh, they need to clean it up and fix it. It's it's not going to last too much longer. You see how it's all crackling and kind of kind of falling apart there. So they need to fix it. Um, but they're not in English. But I went ahead and translated each and every one. Mainly, it just talks about how this area is home for a lot of displaced North Koreans. Uh, a lot of people fleeing from the north, obviously. They call this place home. Most of them are fishermen uh, because they just didn't have access to land and they couldn't do farming. And so this talks about how rough their lives were and, uh, and how hard it was for them to find work. And so a lot of them just turned to fishing. And, uh, you know, it's just really sad. A lot of them, you know, had their families split up. And so. Uh, just one of those tragic stories being so close to the border a lot of them fleeing a lot of them leaving them some of their family in the north uh, goes on to talk about how this is one of the most sought after beaches in korea it's one of the cleanest beaches it's uh, listed as one of the top 100 beaches in uh or one top 100 tourist destinations in korea they even do the iron man uh triathlon here and so and this is pretty cool over here Looks like they filmed a, a drama or some sort of TV show here, and so they mention it here. So, but mostly the underlying message is it's a refugee place. So this is squid. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, squid. Oh, it's really kind of hard, but it's. Oh. Kind of crack it. I imagine on the inside it's nice and soft. Yeah, it is. Mm. Nice there. Mmm, I just say, oh. Ah. What one that's the water? What's mm. that service? The water? Uh, I have water. Ah, oh, oh, thank yeah. you so okay, much. Okay, okay. Very cute place. 
감사합니다. 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 음. 음. Oh, nothing special, but it's it's good. Need some butter. <laughs> right when I said that, I think there is some butter in there. I just ate it from the wrong end. So the the other side is like really greasy. Or Yeah, there's butter on the other side. <laughs> Way better. Mmm, damn. Makes all the difference. So that's pretty cool. The Sokcho Port International Cruise Terminal. I wonder where you can go from here. I mean, can you go to... Japan is right there. I did see a line. I was looking at Google Maps. You know how you can see all the uh, the ferry lines that go out from the port and I was just I was just following one and apparently you can go to Russia from one of these ports I don't know if you can go to Russia from here but huh that's interesting where can you go international from the Sokcho International Cruise Terminal Philippines maybe uh, Malaysia where are you going from here Thing. So I almost missed it. I was just about to get on that little boat and go back over there. And I just I decided to do one last loop of the island. And I'm glad I did because I found this over here, which you know, it looks like many of the other kind of memorials and statues that you see. Divided families uh, portrayed by the outstretched arms. Yeah, I can only assume that's kind of what they're getting at here. Just me? Okay. Alrighty, so uh, I'm about to go get on a, a sailboat. Be careful. Be careful? Okay. I'll be, I'll be alright. Um, so I've just been chilling in this uh, nice little bakery and coffee shop and, and uh, restaurant here. And uh, someone came up to me and they were like, hey, you want to go on a, a free boat ride? I said, Sure, <laughs> why not? Take shoes off? Keep off. Off, okay. Appreciate it, this looks fun. No problem, enjoy. All right, this is awesome. And actually, when I come back, I met one of my subscribers. She came in and uh, said hello, and she wants to take me to dinner tonight. So we're actually just gonna go right next door and have dinner, so. Have that to look forward to when uh, I get back. So, looks like we're gonna go out and get a little tour of the harbor here. I watched your bike in front of the store. I'm sorry? I, I watched your oh, bike. Oh, you saw my bike? Yeah. Oh, I think that's it, yeah. <laughs> I know your channel. I oh, appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, this is uh, beautiful. Nice. Luckily, the, uh, the, the clouds burned off. And had a pretty nice day. Ooh. Check it out. That's my Jim Jilbang <laughs> that I stayed in last night. That's where I stayed last night, the Jim Jilbang. Over there? Yeah, here. <laughs> How was it? It's good. It's I like good? the Jim Jilbang. <laughs> what is this one? Yeah, the kind of the aqua. Ah, uh, okay, the squid. Squid, yeah. Squid, okay. So this is a squid okay. fishing boat. Right. That's the lights up there, that's what it's for, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. I saw the saw that boat in Busan, similar one. Yeah, right, right. This is a season. Mm, okay. Very quickly, this is where I was this morning. This is the uh, Korean refugee village. Very, very choppy out here too. <laughs> he was saying it's usually not this bad, but there's a typhoon right now 
hit in Japan and it's really windy today and so that's why it's so wavy right now. Sakcho is a pretty beautiful city I'd have to say. And I can't help but think like what would this look like if Sokcho just happened to be on the North Korea side when the war was all said and done. So that boat is the same company? Same company. Ah, okay. So you can either take the sailboat or the yacht? It's the same yacht. Uh -huh. It's for 12 people, 22 people. Mm, gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I think I've been taken to a very, very famous restaurant here in Sokcho, or that's what I've been told. Chongcho Seoul. You have a very awesome view right there. Amazing. The raw fish plate. <laughs> like I guess sashimi. Sashimi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Octopus. Octopus. Uh, I don't know. No. What's that? Mm. It's like a lot of different types of. Uh, fish. Um, there's fish. I, I fish see that shell. Mm. All different kinds of stuff in there for sure. But this is the squid sundae. It looks like it's the whole squid. So I'm guessing they just show all the ingredients, all the, all the, yeah, all the stuffing inside of it. And they chop it up and cook it because that's the whole squid right there. Mm. I've eaten a lot of sushi and a lot of sashimi, but never this time. Oh, never? This is the first. This is the first. first this yeah, is the yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Is that ice? Ice, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me, I'll get soon. Yeah. Okay. Wow. You are the real deal. 